simple question. Will Nigeria ever rise again? They collectively said, no way. A capital no. Nigeria is a finished country. They said, friends, for Nigeria to rise again, we must all agree that Nigeria can and will still rise again. I want us all to come to a point where we believe in the future of our country, Nigeria. Do you know that it is our faith that makes us to be sacrificial? I always let people know that faith is the reason why we make sacrificial move. The wise man said, a made-up mind is the reason. A man who walk through fire without nursing the fear of pain. Now, what am I saying? I want every Nigerian to come to the point where we all agree that Nigeria will still rise again. And the simple reason why we should agree that Nigeria should rise again is this. I have this quote. Listen to me. A lack of faith in Nigeria is the reason why we are quick to despise and forsake making sacrificial moves towards the train hard. Now, do you know that the simple reason why we lack sacrificial moves towards making Nigeria better is because of one thing we lack faith in the country. my tribe, I'm a Yoruba man. We have this proverb. And what is it? An elder that runs through a tunnel path is either chasing or being chased by something. I come again to see an elderly man running so fast on a tunnel path. In fact, in Yoruba language, you used to say, I to I want us to believe in the future of Nigeria. Nigeria will rise again. A wise man said, and I quote, where there is a will, there will definitely be a way. Do you know that our lack of faith in Nigeria is the reason we are quick to despise and forsake making sacrificial moves towards making the things that would better her. Today the word Japa very common among the Yorubas, the Igbos, the Shakiris, even the Hausas. Japa has become a common language in Nigeria because every Nigerian now believes that Japa is the way. In fact, I even overheard somebody singing on Facebook. She was saying, Japa is the king. Japa is the king. Japa is the master king. Come on, Japa, everybody. And Japa right now. Japa is the master king. Listen, if we all decide that we will Japa, now, the simple meaning of Japa is let's run away. But do you know that even without translation, every Nigerian understands that simple quote, Japa. Now, Japa is taken from the Yoruba language. But even the old Hebrews understand. They will tell you, I just want to Japa. And the reason is because we are giving up on our country, Nigeria. If you read history, you will understand that what is happening in the Nigeria of today won't happen in China. But thank God for the Chinese people. They decided to stay in their country because of one thing. They believe in the future of their country. I want to ask you again. Do you believe that Nigeria will rise again? Listen. And I want everybody to listen to me. Japan, 
permit me to say that it's not the solution. Now, if you and I decide to say, I believe in the future of Nigeria, and I will do my best to make sure that Nigeria becomes great again, I can assure you, in the space of time, Nigeria will arise again. I took my time to go the memory lane. You know, there was a time that fake drugs were so common. In fact, more common than original drugs. Until a woman came up, Dora Willis and in. He said, no, I will do my best. Do you know? She did her best. She made use of her time and tenor. Now, when she left, she was giving several international awards. I don't want to talk about that. But one of the things she left in our minds is that today, if you pick any drug or product, as a Nigerian, you will go check the expiry date. It was not so before Dora came up. She came up and she was able to effect change because what? She believed that Nigeria would be great again. Now listen to me. Nigerians will prefer to leave the country rather than try to fix it with sacrificial moves. I believe that Nigeria will rise again. And I want you to, to believe that Nigeria will rise again. Now let's go to our pledge. I took my time to go through the words in our pledge. It says, I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength, to defend her unity, and uphold her honor and glory. And we summarize it by saying, so help me God. Now, in my summary, I want to go back to my quote. Our lack of faith in Nigeria is the reason we are quick to despise and forsake making sacrificial moves to better her. Now, instead of us to stand our ground and say, I will stay and make my own contribution to better my country, a lot of Nigerians prefer to run. And the reason is because we lack faith in the future of our country. If you believe that Nigeria will rise again, I want to hear you and I want to read a post from you say, I believe in the future of Nigeria, Nigeria will rise again. I believe in the future of Nigeria, Nigeria will rise again. I believe in the future of Nigeria, Nigeria will rise again. Now, once we all agree in our minds, then I believe there will definitely be a way for Nigeria. Because wherever there is a will, there will definitely be a way. I'm summarizing right now. Nigeria will rise again. Do you believe? I believe. I come again. Nigeria will rise again. Do you believe? I believe. Change that mindset of saying Nigeria is finished. There is nothing more for Nigeria again. Change that mindset and you will see that we will get Nigeria working again. I remain the anchor man of this program and I'll be with you for one twenty days. And for that, praise with my name. I am a Nigerian and I'm glad 